Hello, everyone. My name is Gabe Paez, and I'm the founder and CEO at The Wild. And I'm super excited to see you all here today at Autodesk University 2021. So we know doing things virtually can sometimes feel just a little less personal, but I think you're going to find that these next few minutes are uniquely engaging in a way that you probably haven't seen on a live stream before. So Navisworks is one of the best tools for coordinating federated models across multiple trades. Yet still, we are often missing clashes, hidden mistakes, and, and just reaching alignment around solutions with the whole team. If only we had that experience of walking the space at the very end of a project once it's complete, months or even years earlier while we're still planning the project. Think about the issues we could triage, the better decisions that we could make, how much time, money, and frustration could be absolutely avoided by aligning on the experience of the space rather than an abstraction of it. This is the gap in our current capability that we have an opportunity to fill with virtual reality. This technology is now more accessible than ever before with affordable and comfortable devices like the $300 Oculus Quest 2. So today we're gonna highlight a quick practical workflow to show you how you can easily use Navisworks for virtual reality collaboration. And you're gonna be surprised at how much easier your work life can be and how much money, thousands and thousands of dollars in RFIs you could save by collaborating in this way. All right, so two of the best ways for building teams to collaborate in VR today are with our industry leading tools, The Wild and Prospect by Iris VR. Together, both of these products span the entire design to construction spectrum, with The Wild focusing primarily on early stage design and collaboration and Prospect for later stage coordination to construction. For today's conversation, we're gonna specifically focus on how you can use Prospect by Iris VR to integrate directly with Navisworks. We'll be saving a few minutes at the end of our demo for Q&A, so feel free to watch, write questions into the questions box, and I'll try to answer as many of those as I can at the end of the session. But first, I've just got a quick question for you. Where are you calling us in from today? <laughs> where are you visiting from? I wanna see where you're scattered from around the world, hopefully, and, um, and what company you're repping. So drop it in the chat. All right, thanks. And now I'm gonna pass it off to Jordan to walk us through this workflow. Thanks, Jordan. Hey everyone, thanks again for joining us today. I'm really excited to show you how we're gonna go from Navisworks to Prospect to view our models in VR in just a few clicks. I think we're all pretty familiar with how Navisworks functions and the value of the tool. Being able to federate those models from all of your different trades into one platform and one model where you can then review it is just incredible. Of course, with that benefit also comes the risk of having to worry about clashes, hidden mistakes, some errors, and getting the trades to cooperate uh, as we start building this structure. So what VR does is it takes your 3D model off of that 2D screen and it makes it so you can actually go in and live and breathe inside your model and see things that you maybe couldn't find when you're doing a traditional design review on a computer. Or imagine you have a bunch of different people in different places and you're all trying to make major decisions while being on a Zoom or a Teams meeting. It's even better if you could just go into the model as if it was built per the model that day and do an entire walkthrough and design review together while having these tools on top of it. So not just walking around, but being able to view your BIM data or change visibility settings, measure, markup, and even track issues. So here we have our standard Navisworks model. Everyone's familiar with this, but up here what you see is our Prospect by Iris VR tab, where we can actually go in and be able to view our model in VR what it's going to do is allow you the options to select which viewpoints you want to bring in. Just like in Navisworks, you can click on a viewpoint and it will take you there in the virtual model. So it's the same thing. Uh, same with your properties. So what you can actually do in VR is if you see something, you can click on it and pull up all the BIM data behind it. But maybe you don't want all that BIM data. Maybe there's a lot of junk in there that isn't going to be important for your model review so you can easily get away. You'll see the conversion process is pretty quick. In a matter of seconds, maybe a few minutes, the model is gonna convert and bring it over to prospect for your library. 
Now, here we have our library. You'll see your projects on the left with your files on the right. On the right-hand side, you can easily add collaborators or just send them a join code over here and bring everyone into the virtual environment together. So once your model launches in VR, we're actually gonna start you off in this mode called scale model mode, where everyone can sort of grab and manipulate the model and, and have a conversation around it. You can also see how if someone changes a setting like a visibility setting here, it's reflected on everybody else's end. Here you can see what it's like when you have a bunch of people behind headsets, and you'll also notice one of the people is behind a computer, which is super helpful for those that don't have the necessary hardware to actually be immersed in the experience. From scale model mode, you're actually able to teleport into true one-to-one -one scale where you and your colleagues can walk through the entire building. You'll notice that when someone makes a markup like over here, it's reflected on everybody else's end, just like any measurements or changes in visibility settings, we all know we're looking at the same thing. You have this confidence where no one has to worry about getting lost. You can always teleport to each other's locations or the host can gather you. And just here, you'll see how easy it is to quickly take those measurements for clearance checks, or you just wanna ensure that you have the right height or width, and then you can easily make markups. And this will be reflected on everybody else's end. If you want to save those for later, it's as simple as taking out a little phone in VR and just clicking on them to take pictures that you can save and review later. And here's an example of how you can view all of that BIM data live on the fly while still in your VR headset. And once again, while in VR, you can snap pictures of anything to save it for later. Here's a look at the section plane we have built out in the scale model mode as well as the different ways you can find clashes, easily mark them up and make sure everyone is on the same page. The issue tracking is available where you can flag your issues, give them a status type priority and save them using voice to text. And then you can click on them to get back to them at any point. So there's always this running tab. And here's an example of what it looks like on the desktop. So once again, having the ability to go from VR to desktop or having a mixture of VR and desktop at the same time, all of those issues you created are gonna be viewable on your desktop. And with our new BCF export, you can take those issues, export them, and bring them back to your source model in a variety of different ways. So it's really closing the design review cycle of finding an issue in VR because you couldn't find it there on the computer, exporting it out, and then bringing it back to your source model to make the change. After that, you can re-upload your model to Prospect and still see those issues there and go and make sure that the change has been made correctly and then resolve them. And what we're doing here is just driving a new sense of design comprehension that you can't get from looking at a 3D model on a 2D screen. A lot of people say, man, it would be so nice if I could just go and see what this thing would look like if we built it today. And that's what Prospect is bringing to you. At any point, you can just upload a model, go in with alone or with your team and be, do a full design review to ensure that you don't have to waste time on project deadlines or have unnecessary change orders when things should have been done the right way first. Thank you, Jordan, for sharing that workflow from Navisworks into Prospect by Iris VR. It's so cool to see how easy it is to take your Navisworks model directly into virtual reality in just one click. And I know several of our customers like Mortensen and HDR were surprised by just how easily Prospect globalized their collaboration and paid for itself after just spotting one RFI. And as I can see from our chat, we've got people from all over the world joining. So just imagine how amazing it would be for us all to join together inside of Prospect to have that same experience immersively um, inside of your BIM model today. If you'd like to try out Prospect, Go to our website right there. There's the URL signup.irsvr.com right now to get started with a free trial. And as a special promotion just for this, um, for this conference, we are giving away a free Oculus Quest 2 with any annual subscription as a promotion for AU. So go to that link to start your free trial and we'll follow up with you with more details on the promotion. Or you can just reach out directly to Jordan at jordan at irisvr.com and he can set you up. So, okay, let's jump into the q and I'm going to jump down here and see. It looks like we've got a question from Phil. He's asking, will this work with an older Oculus Quest 2? So not the Quest, uh, sorry, not the Quest 2. Will it work with the Quest 1, the original version? And the answer is simply yes. Uh, Prospect works with 
the Oculus Quest, uh, the Oculus Rift, the Oculus Quest 1, the Oculus Quest 2. It's a wide variety of headset support, even HTC Vive, if you have one of those, Windows Mixed Reality headsets, all supported with Prospect. Looks like we've got another question from Matt, who's asking, uh, does the issue tracking functionality sync back to BIM 360? Um, great question. Not at this time, but uh, keep an eye out. Um, we've got more to come. Maybe some surprises. I don't know. Stay tuned. <laughs> um, can uh, I will say though? Sorry, you can export a formatted PDF of all the all of those changes. Uh, also, we do have now just recently released BCF export so that you can export all of those issues to a BCF file that then you could import into whatever tracking tool you're utilizing. So there are workflows that will work for you today. Can you choose what metadata and which viewpoints come, come through? What about using the section plane? Okay, yes. So two different questions. You can choose, um, you can align on the viewpoints from whatever you're using inside of uh, Navisworks and bring those directly. You can just bring a single viewpoint into, uh, into Prospect. And, and in terms of the section plane, I guess that's a question of like, can you use a section plane inside of Prospect? And the answer is yes. There's this nice um, ability to create a section of the entire model and look at that in isolation. Next question, which Navisworks versions do you support? Uh, it's 2017 to 2021, Navisworks manage or simulate? Let's see. Okay, what other sorts of integrations does Prospect have? So go to our website to see all of them, but the primary ones are Navisworks, Revit, Rhino, and SketchUp. Uh, you can also import 3D files and, and view those as well, but those are the primary workflows that we see. Is there anything in development path for manipulating objects in VR? For example, move around Revit families in space or scale buildings? Kyle asked that one. Uh, great question, Kyle. If you're interested in manipulating objects, I definitely urge you to check out The Wild, our other product um, at thewild.com. That in The Wild, you can bring multiple different Navisworks or Revit files into the same space. You can also bring discrete FBXs and OBJs, uh, images, videos. And so it's more of a workspace in that way that you can collaborate on all of that content inside of The Wild and you can move things around um, you can experiment with materials more. It's a little bit more flexible of a creative workspace versus uh, Prospect, which is really great in terms of coordination and getting at your BIM data and um, uh, working with Navisworks. The Wild doesn't have Navisworks support at this point. And, and so that's sort of the separation there. But if you really want to manipulate the space itself, you should look at the Wild. Are there plans to bring point cloud data from Navisworks to Prospect? Matt asked that. Um, great question, Matt. It's something we've thought a lot about for sure. We do not natively support point cloud data. However, we do see our customers often use meshing tools like Recap to create meshes of those point cloud data and then bring that mesh as a discrete 3D object inside of Prospect um, and the WoW, both. They're, they're super interesting workflows for making that happen and the experience from inside of those, um, those experiences where you're essentially creating a digital twin and then able to explore it immersively from inside is truly amazing, like game changing. So I urge you to go sign up for a trial and we can walk you through that stuff um, at, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. So it was super great presenting to you. I'm gonna leave it at that for today. Um, thank you for joining. We hope to see you really soon and talk to you. Please visit this URL to give us, a, give us a try. And I hope you have a great rest of your AU. Take care, bye.